I'm Robert Medley with The Oklahoman, and I'm here today with Vernon Gowdy, the third, a well-known Oklahoma uh, rock and roll photographer whose career has spanned over 40 years, and you have been working on a project that was a labor of, of passion, I'm sure. Tell us the title of your book and what it's about. Well, the title of my book is From These Walls, The History of the Diamond Ballroom. And what I want to do is I want to do a three-part project and uh, because the Diamond Ballroom has got so much history the past 50 years. And it opened up in 1964. And uh, so I decided to do a compilation book starting from November 64 to 2016. And I was fascinated by all the bands that played the past 50 years. And so I couldn't pick everybody. So I picked out about 160 artists to highlight in the book. And inside the book, you're going to see people like Willie Nelson without his beard, wearing a suit and tie. He started out in the 65 and 68 range. And people like Merle Haggard played there, and he had like Wanda Jackson. Vernon, um, since you started this really back in, in August, uh, tell me some things that happened and how the book evolved, and some things that you learned that we didn't know about it. Well, I mean, I, I found out a lot of things I didn't know. I mean, I. I didn't realize that, that for example, uh, Shooter Jennings played there back in January. And I found out he was the son of Waylon Jennings, and Waylon Jennings had played back there on February the 14th, 1969. So he came to concert at the Diamond in, in January, and we had this really cool lithograph picture of his dad in the dressing room. So we made arrangements with a tour manager and said, hey, we want to take a photograph of you and your dad. And so we hung it on the wall, and he said, oh, sure, no problem, you know. He came out and he sat there and he went like this and, and stood next to the picture. And it looks like his dad is staring at his son. And what's so cool about this is that Shooter Jennings Band members, the original drummer, played with Waylon Jennings back in the 70s and the 60s. And also Shooter Jennings' other members, the bass player and guitar player, also was with Waylon Jennings. So it's kind of like deja vu going back in time. And that made me realize that other uh, sons and daughters played with these famous performers. Like Loretta Lynn's daughter played with her at the Diamond Ballroom. I found out that, that, uh, that Hank Three, of course, played the Diamond and also his father, Hank Williams Jr. And Merle Haggard's two sons played, I mean, one daughter and one son played at the Diamond. So I learned that a lot of the siblings had participated years later after their father and mother had played there. So it's kind of cool to learn things like that, so to speak, you know. And you have 50 years worth of Oklahoma uh, music history that went through the Diamond Ballroom, so um, the legacies continue. Now tell me about the plans that you have for another edition or version. Uh, this is your first edition here, and I see you have it hardback. Yes, I have a hardback. Um, with all these photos, yeah. explain how it's going to continue to evolve, this, well, this project. Like I said, it was so cool, I had access to all these old records, okay? So, and after I put out this compilation book, which is now done with softcover and hardcover in a premium collector's version, I also, during this time, been doing interviews with people that had played the Diamond Ballroom, people that worked there for years and years, and we're going to have a book come out in the fall that's going to have all these stories about what happened at the Diamond Ballroom? We have stories that behind the building, there was this tour bus, this band had an argument. They threw out their CDs and the band broke up that day. Stuff like that. All kinds of stories that would, you know, I think you'll find interesting. So, well, so and that ties on. in with the, the, your right. title of the book. When show them the um, book cover and the yeah, title. The History of, of the Diamond Ballroom. And I think it's going to be a cool book to look through and enjoy. And I think you'll learn a lot. And I think it'll be quite interesting. From these walls. Yes, from yeah. these walls. Lots went on within those walls. Oh, there's lots of stories from these walls. Some stories we can't maybe tell, but we can tell most of the stories. Not everything. <laughs> Not everything. Um, how did you continue to become uh, enthralled by this story? When you, it sounded like a good idea for you at first, well, the you Diamond know, Ballroom. It seems like it just grew. Well, you start, I'm a house photographer, I'm a rock photographer. I shoot concerts and I, I submit them to the websites and newspapers. But every time I'd go to the Diamond Ballroom, I'd see these, all these photographs on the wall. Hundreds of shots from, collected from the past 50 years. So I would stare at the pictures and look at them. I kept saying, that's, that's interesting. I wanted to find out more. And I, this, that's when I became interested 
in learning more about the diamond when I saw these pictures off the walls. And so that's what got me started. And the more I dug into it, I said, hey, I want to do something about this. I want to put a book out. I want, I, want, I, want to, I want people to know that this building has this much history in it. And so that's what made me start the project. You know, so. And Vernon, tell us or tell our uh, viewers how or we can, uh, someone could get a copy of this book now. Are you taking orders or yeah, what? Yes, so what I'm doing, uh, I have a website that I started called diamondballroombook.com. And starting this weekend, you can take orders for the soft cover and the hard cover. And within about a week or two, the Diamond Ballroom will have a display set up. You can buy the book there at the venue. So there you go. Great, great work. I can't wait to, to read through all 200 and how many pages? 200 pages plus. 200 plus pages. Very good. Well, thank you. Appreciate Vernon Gowdy, thank the you very third. Much, Robert. <laughs>